Hello students, how are you? Your P2 exam didn't go well as you planned or as you would have thought that P2 uh, P2 is easy, we should have score 80-90% uh, easily but during P2 midterm exam you realize that it is not super easy and to achieve that 90% or uh, centum you need to work a little bit more but only four months left for your P2 board exams. So how should you prepare for that so that you can score 100 out of 100 uh, in physics. I will, I am going to discuss mainly about physics but overall the discussions will be uh, common to all the subjects. So basically we will look into the mistakes that you are doing and how you can overcome those mistakes in terms of physics. So first I am going to help you so that you can score our dream of centum in physics out of out in physics. So first let us look into the mistakes that you are making. Obviously you are making some mistakes and what are all those mistakes? First you are spending too much time on the chapters which are low weightage and less time on high weightage chapters. You are thinking that this chapter uh, I do not know so I have to spend more time but in doing so you are ignoring the high weightage chapters that's what the main reason for your uh, lackluster P2 midterm. I will say not uh, unsuccessful but lackluster uh, P2 midterm exam because you are not focusing correctly on your proper high weightage chapters. Next is not having enough writing practice. I see that many of you are not writing the paper. They are writing only during the exam and writing is not up to the mark and you are losing out on uh, marks for that. Okay, so writing practice is very very important. So that is one mistake that you are making. Next mistake you are making is not practicing the previous year questions. That is another mistake. Some of you are doing it but some of you are not doing it. So that is also very very important to look after. And last part is keeping things for the last moment. So you are thinking that last uh, hour I will solve one or two numericals and last hour I will practice few derivations. Last hour I will look into the MCQs but keeping everything for last hour that hour this only 60 minutes long you can do only so much in that and you are losing out on that part. So now how can you improve from there? So for that you have to look into how you can undo your mistakes. So that is very very essential that to undo your mistakes you have to take some steps right. You are making some mistakes now you have to not only avoid those mistakes but also you have to undo them so that you can recover the lost time and lost efforts that you have done till your midterm. So that's why it is very important not only stop doing that also undo that. So how can you do that? First is first step spending too much time on low weighted chapters and less time on high weighted chapters. So what this is the solution? Make a study schedule in the order of weightage. So first of all you have to know which are the high weighted chapters and which are the low weighted chapter. Based on that you have to prepare a study table. Worry not, I am here. I will give you everything, all the important tap chapters weightage wise. Also how you can finish them, what should be your study strategy that I am going to give you. I will not give you day wise study strategy, hour wise. That is up to you because everyone having different time schedule. So you can prepare that day wise time strategy you can do on yourself. But month wise study strategy definitely I will give you. Okay. Uh, obviously start with a high priority chapter. Alternate with medium priority chapter. And end with low priority chapter. That's how your entire syllabus will be covered. You will not feel burdened enough. Also you will also have an idea what are all the chapters where I have to put more focus. But before that if you want to put more focus on KSET and Comet K exam 2026 then Diksha is presenting you KC90 online course. Okay, Online and offline both are available whatever is your choice. What is KC90? It is a 90 day crash course for Comet K and KSET exam combined together priced at 9999 only. If you are interested for only KCET exam, no Comet K, then for price for only K, uh, KSET 90 day crash course is 5999. Price for only Comet K 90 days crash course is 5999. 
what all you will get in this series you will get full class 11th and 12th syllabus coverage you will get chapter wise pyqs and dpps you will get abhyas kct test series as well as comet k test series if you purchase the combo pack also you will get pu board test series absolutely free you will get live doubt classes you will get downloadable notes and pdfs exclusive whatsapp community access everything for double nine double nine only so what are you waiting for click on the link given in the description of this video and book your seat today now let's continue with the uh, chapter wise weightage so you have to know which are the chapters uh, what are all the high weightage chapters so first is high weightage chapters electric charges and fields uh, 11 marks uh, uh, based on the previous year a model question paper this year model question papers are not yet available maybe they will not give you any new model paper the last year model paper will continue so based on that uh, the, the weightage of the chapter of electric charges and fields is 11 uh, average weightage obviously in case they change the weightage they, if they release a new model uh, question paper definitely we will update you on this as well next part is electrostatic potential and capacitance average weightage is 10 and 11 Next is current electricity, the most uh, highly weighted tap chapter of this PU2, which has 13 weightage. Next is moving charges and magnetism, again weightage is 11. 11, what is the meaning of weightage, by the way? Weightage means 11 marks will be coming from this chapter alone. So if you study electric charges and fields, you will be able to answer 11 marks question. If you are studying electrostatic potential and capacitance, you will be able to answer another 11 marks. So by studying these two chapters, you will you can score 22 marks maximum, right? This is the meaning of weightage. Weightage means from this chapter, the total number of questions that are coming from this chapter, if you add all of them, the number will be 13, okay? And ray optics and optical instrument, it is also a high weighted chapter. 11 marks is coming from this chapter as well. Now, medium weighted chapter, 7, 8 marks, 6, 7, 8 marks are coming from those chapters. So, magnetism and matter, 6, electromagnetic induction, 7, alternating current, 7, wave optics, 7, uh, dual nature of radiation and matter, 6, semiconductor electronics, 8. So, these are the medium weighted chapters from where uh, each chapter have their specifications. For example, AC will be asked in MCQ, fill in the blanks and only numericals. Uh, semiconductor electronics will be asked uh, one two marker question one MCQ and one five mark derivations okay so this is how some chapters have uh, magnetism and matter only two three mark questions MCQs and fill in the blanks okay so this is how the chapters are uh, oriented the low weighted chapter there are few low weighted chapters as well electromagnetic waves only four marks is coming from this chapter anything below five is low weightage atoms only three marks Nuclei only four marks. So combining these three chapters are low weighted chapter. You should not waste too much uh, time on these chapters as well. Now, 120 day break breakdown. I am giving you 120 day. Almost about almost about uh, four months are left till your PU board exam in March. Okay, in end of February. According to the tentative schedule, it is end of February. So I am assuming end of October. You will have. Uh, November, December, January, February. So, four months are there. So, 120 days uh, breakdown I am going to give you. Total number of chapters is 14. How many days left? You have November, December, January and February. So, 120 days plan. So, how you can complete the chapter? So, I am dividing it into three parts. November, December, January and February. So, these are the three parts. So, what should you do in the November, December month? In the November, December month, all the high weighted chapters should be completed. You have to complete all the high weighted chapters and few medium weighted chapters as well. So in these two months, focus completely on high weighted chapter. Now, if you are preparing for, suppose you are preparing for KCT exam as well. So when you are preparing for high weighted chapters, say electric charges and fields, do not, not only restrict yourself for PU exams, you also solve questions for KCT. That's how you can prepare both exams parallelly that is very very important so when you are preparing a chapter prepare the same chapter for competitive exam as well this uh, this is uh, the way to prepare for board exams as well as your competitive exam together in the month of january medium and low weighted chapters you have to complete and you also have the pre-board exam in the month of january so by the end of january entire syllabus should be covered 
in the month of February you will have a practical exam. You have to revise all the chapters and you have to prepare for mock tests as well. You have to write some mock tests so that you are ready before your board exams. Right? This should be your general plan. Now day wise plan, chapter wise plan that you have to figure it out and do it yourself. I will not burden you with that. But your target, you should have a target by end of December all the high weighted chapters and some medium weighted chapters even though I have not mentioned it but you should have that in your mind some all the high weighted chapters and some medium weighted chapters should be completed by end of December by January everything should be completed okay then you have to write your pre-board exams in the February month you will have your practical exams you have to revise those chapters and write mock tests so this is how you should complete your syllabus now what are the other mistakes that you are doing? One common mistake is not uh, having enough writing practice. So how can you write uh, more? So at the end of the chapter, pick questions from two, three, uh, five marks category. So you are aware of the question paper pattern. You have already written your midterm paper. So two, three, five marks questions pick randomly from a particular chapter. So suppose you have finished magnetism and matter chapter. So from magnetism and matter chapter, pick a question difference between diamagnetic and ferromagnetic substances. Pick that question and write it uh, so that uh, you are having the writing practice for uh, different questions. Write a derivation, okay? Uh, magnetic, uh, magnetic field due to a current carrying coil at a distance x from the center. So practice those. By practicing you ha will have some better retention and in the exam you will have a chance of doing less mistakes. Okay, the ans try to answering them in points. Okay, don't write the whole answer. You don't need to write the whole answer. You just write the points. What are important points in that? So that's how you can remember and uh, also replicate that in the board exam. Next is what are other mistakes? Not practicing model questions, PYQs. Now, model questions, PYQs. <coughs> you have to. You you can buy a model question paper. Uh, definitely, there are few available in the market. You have you can buy the. Uh, previous year question paper book from there you can practice secondly you can download the modern question paper available in the pew board website if you don't know how to do it just go to google search pew 2 model question papers you will get a link of karnataka pew board uh, website go there download the paper solve it as simple as that even if you haven't studied at all the, at all uh, if, um, for example, if you uh, you have only studied so far eight nine chapters, right? Not all the chapters are completed. But when you are practicing, try to write all the questions. Don't worry about it. At least uh, try to answer MCQs from all the chapters. Try to write fill in the blanks. Try to write two three marker questions. Whatever you know, you answer them. Okay. And your uh, even though it, you may not you may not know all the answers, try to write and see how much of them are correct. Okay, so here is the uh, 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 layout of the model question paper website. So second PU 2025 subject wise model question paper 1, 2, 3. There are three question paper available in 2025. You can go and download them. In fact, in the portal also they are uh, giving you three sample papers for each exams. Okay, for uh, 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 main board exam, for exam 2, exam 3, three question papers are available as well as three sample papers are available for that as well you can download so total nine papers you can practice for free of cost next is keep things for the last moment so if you are keeping everything for the last moment stop doing that have a practical timetable for your studies so keep a practical timetable okay morning i will wake up i will uh, complete this uh, say suppose you are studying mathematics in the morning in the evening, you are starting with chemistry, you are finishing with physics. So do some practical timetables where you are giving importance to all the subjects one by one. Assign minimum number of days for each chapter. So you cannot continue with one chapter for one month. Right? So that's what you are doing in the past. So assign minimum. Okay, I have to complete this chapter in one week. Electric charges and fields chapter I will complete in starting today. Next seven days, I will complete that chapter anyhow. That should be your target and when you are saying that I will complete this chapter not only for pew board preparation for competitive exam as well. So give a uh, realistic timetable so that we can finish that chapter, revise it and practice questions from that chapter as well. 
divide the chapter based on your knowledge into strong and weak chapters. So some chapters you are very strong at. For example, you can answer any questions which is coming from the alternating current chapter. So you are very strong at alternating current chapter. Suppose you are very strong at a chapter in magnetism and matter or electromagnetic induction. So those chapters are your favorite chapters. You can answer any and all questions that might come from this chapter. So mark them as your favorite. Uh, I, I know uh, because uh, when I was a student, some of the chapters were my favorite. Electric charges and field is one of my favorite chapter. So any questions that might come from the chapter, I will be able to answer it. So there are few chapters where you are very strong. Mark them as your strong. And what chapters you have uh, just roughly studied during your pre-board, uh, during your midterm exams and you are lacking confidence, some depth, in-depth questions might come from this chapter. I might not be able to answer those. So those chapters, mark those chapters as your weak chapters. For example, when I was a student, um, um, rotational motion in P1 is one of my weak chapters. Okay, I was not, uh, never been confident uh, from that chapter, I will be able to answer questions. So that is one of the things that you have to learn. So uh, some chapters you are very confident, some chapters you are not. So mark those chapters that I am very confident from this chapter. I am not very confident from the other chapter. So that's how you can build your own reputation. You can improve your study strategy. This is the way you can score well in your PU board exam. And these are the toppers of our KSET 2026 batch. So if you want to be part of that, you have to join our KC90 program, which is available to you right away. Right? And with this note, I would like to conclude this lecture. I will be back with more such lectures in future. Till then, bye.